Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Hello, Francesca. It's lovely to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you going? I'm great. Um, how, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. A little bit um, nervous, I guess, but it's all just a new experience, so I'm excited about it. We're really looking forward to having you on board to teach geography with us. You're doing some great things here in geography. I expect you've had a chance to look into our teaching units. Um, yeah, I've been able to access the school's website and also the school's profile on my school website, along with ACARA, where I could have a look at the geography units that are covered throughout this term. And I'm really looking forward to being involved. We are currently covering the finance and food security unit in Year 9 at the moment. Is there anything in particular you are looking to develop in terms of the practical side of teaching? Yeah, since this is my first practical teaching experience, I'm really hoping to develop some skills, especially in terms of behavioural management and being exposed to varying forms of class control. I'm also looking at building some confidence in my speech in front of a class, as I'm yet to have much experience in front of students and with students, student questions throughout my teaching and needing to adapt my lessons as certain aspects, in certain aspects as the class responds. Okay, that's great. You will definitely be exposed to those kinds of situations during your time here. And we can make sure some we can make sure you have an opportunity to interact with the students and teach some segments to build that confidence. In regards to behavioural management, does the school have any, any policies or processes that are specific to the school? We do have some specific methods of behaviour management and the processes teachers must take in certain situations. I will email you our behaviour management policy along with our other policies including student protection for you to peruse in preparation for your placement. Okay, that'll be great. I'll be sure to make sure I'll be sure to check them out. Will that um, will that include the school's policy on devices and mobile phones and things like that? Yes, definitely. That is something you will see dealt with every day and you'll have to deal with every day during your placement. We would appreciate your feedback during the placement to make sure you're receiving information and experiences you feel you require most. Okay, I'll be sure to bring up anything I feel I might be missing. In regards to feedback though, referring to the Queensland College of Teachers Handbook and the university's processes, I understand that after my 10 days of placement, you will be writing up a report summarizing my time and giving me some feedback. However, apart from that, I would like to know if there's any, if there will be any opportunity for more frequent feedback throughout my placement, mainly just in a more informal manner for me to work on or to know if there's anything I can change each day throughout the placement. Yeah, definitely. We can have a debrief at the end of each day and during lunch breaks. Also, if there's anything that comes to mind in terms of feedback, we will be communicating about how each class went. There will be opportunity every day for you to ask any questions too. I'm happy to answer anything that comes up. Thank you, I'd really appreciate that regular communication about how I'm tracking, that sounds great. Now in terms of your professional development, are there any specific standards you are interested in focusing on during your time with us? Yeah, definitely. During my preparatory class for this placement, I was introduced to the ATSL professional standards. I'll be taking notice of each of the standards in practice during my time here, but there are a couple of specific standards that I'd like to focus on learning more about in this practical setting. I'd really like to develop my understanding of the amount of variation in learning styles and methods of students within each class, which comes under the first professional standard. May I ask, how big are the standard class sizes here? Okay, you will have the opportunity to witness a variation of classes with a wide range of student learning types. Each class usually has a maximum size of 30 students, 
which depends on the grade and the subject. Geography classes may be a little smaller than, than that. Oh, okay, I see. Thank you. There is another professional standard I'd like to focus on, which is the fifth standard, learning about assessing students and providing feedback about their learning. As I'm yet to have much experience in this area. Yes, of course. I will take you through the assessments we have in place this term and you can observe and possibly get involved in some marking I will be conducting. Also, feedback will occur regularly during classes so you will have the opportunity to pick up more informal methods of feedback throughout lessons. Okay, that'd be great. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again. No problem. That's what I'm here for. Just wait. Can you cross that out? No, just on your side. That's it. You can say it all. Oh. oh, okay. That's what I'm here for. If you have any further questions before starting on Monday, you can email me. Also, I will forward you the school's policy documents. I look forward to having you on board. Thank you. Thanks again. I'd really appreciate your guidance. I'll see you on Monday. No problem. That's what I'm here for. Thanks. Thanks.